So hello everybody and welcome. I'm going to be introducing getting to the root of your patterns, your life patterns, 12 week experience that I'm going to be offering online very soon. But I thought I would just start this uh, video by just showing you um, a little bit about my beautiful home that I have here in Thailand. So I'll just introduce you to the jungle there. Isn't that a, a beautiful sight? So let's get into the presentation. So welcome to getting to the roots of your light life patterns, the tribal medicine way with myself, Sharon King. And that's my website there, obviously, Magical New Beginnings. So for those of you who uh, haven't come across my work before, then um, I'm the author of uh, heal your birth, heal your life. I've just realized I can't spell author there. Experience uh, or healing uh, the birth experience of giving birth to a child. It's also an educational book as well to show you why birth goes, I, I don't want to say wrong, but why, 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 some of the birth experiences that you can have can be traumatic and what you can also do to prevent it. I, um, I'm a trainer, I'm a teacher, I'm a therapist and I help people to um, heal their own birth experiences. I also work with past lives, ancestral patterns and help people discover their life purpose, which is all included in the, the Light Matrix and Beyond program that I run. And I've also currently been running a heart focused healing uh, group where people are using their, the energy of their heart to heal. And I'm taking people into transformative processes, mainly through meditation, where um, where we're going into the light matrix and we, we're creating a, a beautiful workspace for ourselves, an intuitive space where we can heal, we can bring other peoples in to heal, we can use all our magical skills in this beautiful healing space that we create. So um, I'm currently living in Thailand, as you saw at the beginning of this video, and here I'm starting to develop more my work with parents to be where I'm going to be looking to run retreats workshops and more online programs specifically looking at conscious conception conscious pregnancy birth uh, becoming a new parent conscious relationships as well because obviously relationships are a big part of that and a big part of being a parent and also um, understanding your sensitive child. So there's a lot coming up in the future that I'm currently working on. Um, my company calls Magical New Beginnings. And today I want to just introduce you to a new program that I'm just putting together, um, helping people to look at their life patterns. So in the first part of the program, we're going to be looking at what I call the wheel of life. And the wheel of life is um, a chart that helps us easily um, map out where all our experiences in life have been. Um, we, we can look at what's currently showing up in our life right now and, and track it back to where the root cause is, mainly back into childhood. Um, as the, the poster says on the, the side here, the path isn't a straight line, it's a spiral and you're continuously coming back to things you thought you'd understood to see a deeper truth. So when we experience a trauma, either in utero, in birth, um, the first seven years of life, then this has a real powerful effect on the rest of our life. And every time we come round the chart and we come back to the, the lifetime or that life experience, if we go around the chart in, um, in 28 years, then we go around the chart again a second time and a third time, 
then we're going to look at, you know, what happened at our time in utero, what happened at our birth, and how is that reflecting in our life? And our birth experiences very much shows up through, through patterns throughout our life, but predominantly when we're 14, there's a real link between our birth experience and the ages of 13 and 14. So we're going to go deep into that and we're going to be exploring your own experience of, of that. We're also going to look at how it's influencing your physical, emotional, mental and spiritual growth. We're going to understand what phase of life you're currently in at the moment according to the tribal traditions and we're going to learn how to navigate more easily through it by healing your past traumas and it's really important to know where you are on the chart because it can help empower you empower you to heal to transform but also we can use the chart to manifest each new beginning that's being offered to us as we go around the chart so we're going to be mapping your own life experiences, both the trauma learning experiences that we have in life, but we're also going to look at the positive ones. You know, we spend as, as trauma therapists, obviously, we spend a lot of time looking at healing traumas within our lives. But it's also nice to spend some time just looking at the positive aspects in our lives. We can do this for our children. We can do this for our parents. In fact, you know, we are going to spend a little bit of time looking, you know, mapping what's what's gone on for your children so far. We may, you know, map some of the events that you know have happened to your parents and just see maybe if that's reflecting in your own chart, your own wheel of life. You know, what's gone on for your ancestors? Is that repeating its cycle in your life? Um, those of you who have done my Light Matrix course will know that I'm very, very aware and I teach the awareness of the fact that we often come into this lifetime to heal uh, what's gone before us, our, our ancestors' trauma, but also our own past lives or other life experiences. And to be able to see that reflected in a chart is going to be fun to explore here. You can do the chart for your partner. Um, it's really good in a relationship, if you like, for, for two people to go through their charts together with their partner because you get a deeper understanding of what's going on for you, for your partner, what is about to, to, to come up, what cycles are they coming into, what are they, you know, what are they going to be navigating through next, just so you know how to help and support them, they know how to help and support you. You can do this for your friends. If you're a therapist, you can do this for your clients. And as I just said, you can even map some of your past life experiences on your chart and just, just start to becoming aware or bring awareness into what you might be currently dealing with life a lot right now or what you have done in the past. So we're going to be using uh, mainly guided meditations, but bringing into those meditations, I'm going to be using color, we're going to be using sound, we may even do some toning using our voice, maybe doing a bit of breath work, we will almost certainly be doing some tapping. And we're going to be drawing on the elements of earth, water, air and fire. Now, the other part of what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at intuitive picture reading. And we're going to be learning how powerful it is to be able to um, identify what's going on in a person's life by asking them to draw four simple objects. This is a wonderful technique that you can use with your children, your own inner child, or your, even your adult self. So I'm going to be inviting you to be drawing um, this picture from your own inner child's perspective at whatever age that child um, needs to express itself or and also as your adult self. But you can also obviously use this with your children. Now, this intuitive picture reading can also be used for bringing healing and closure to the past. It can help you empower your current life and it can also be used for future manifestation as well. So I'm going to be teaching you how you can take this intuitive picture reading to a whole new level. 
of understanding, but also manifestation. And then the final part of the 12 week process is the personality profiling and understanding different personality types. Now we are all a makeup um, of these four personality types, but we are predominantly more often more one of the types than, than the other. So by understanding the full personality profiles of yourself and others helps, you can, helps your communication and compassionate skills, helping to understand others, but also being understanding with yourself as well. And interestingly, we don't all speak the same language when it comes to these four personality types. So communication can sometimes be misunderstood we are all made up of the aspects of these four types, but often have more dominant type. Understanding your personality type can help you understand your needs and your desires. And that also includes your partner, your children, you know, people at work, people in your life, your family members. And understanding others helps you communicate in a way that they can understand and more fully hear and receive you. So if this feels like a journey that you would like to undertake, then um, it's, as I said, it's a 12 week journey. Now I'm running this, this course, this online course twice a week. So on a Tuesday, the six, starting on the 6th of December, sorry, starting on the 6th of September, not December, where we'll be ending nearly um, December, then uh, it starts at nine o'clock for two hours. Each webinar is two hours long. So nine o'clock UK time, 10 a.m. Europe. And if you're in Australia, then I'll give you the Queensland time, which will be 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. for you. Now, because I'm in Thailand, the, the times don't always match up and there's, there, there's not a time that I can find that everybody can, can join. So if you're in America, for instance, then we're going to start on the evening of your 8th of September and uh, PSD time is going to be 5.30. And again, Australia, you get two opportunities to join here. So you can either join us at 10.30 in the morning or you can join us at 6 p.m. in the evening. Just choose which, which time works for you. Unfortunately, you can't swap groups in between. So if you sign up for one, you need to, to stay with that time. So if this feels like something that you would like to explore for yourself and you're not a practitioner, that is fine. You don't have to be a practitioner in order to, um, to attend. I'm going to pop my video on here. Yes, so you don't have to be a practitioner in order to attend. This is for anybody who wants to go a little bit deeper and understand themselves a little bit deeper. It's for any parents that want to understand their children a little bit deeper and to help them too. Um, of course, if you are a practitioner, then this is something that you can use with your clients as well. So go to magicalnewbeginnings.com workshops. I'll also put the link below for both of these workshops. Um, I'll pop those below for you in this video. So I'll just stop there you go. So thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. And I look forward to connecting with you very, very soon. All right, everybody. Take care. Bye.